Welcome learners of BBA program. We shall discuss in these three videos Unit 9 of your marketing management course. Unit 9 is all about promotion. And promotion as you all know, marketing mix, product, price, place, promotion. This is the fourth P. Though this is the fourth P, does not mean that this P is not important. This is equally important. In many cases, it could be more important than the other piece. So it's very important production uh, promotion in terms of marketing mix. So we shall discuss promotion in three videos. And the, this video, this discussion is based on your self-learning material. So we have taken up uh, these learning objectives uh, from this particular video that we should be able to define promotion, what promotion is all about. Then we shall be able to discuss what are the different types of promotion. And then we shall be able to identify the factors which affect promotional mix and strategies. So what is promotion? What are the different types of promotion? And what are the factors which affect promotion? These are the three things we shall try to understand. And after attending this particular video, you should be able to describe what promotion is all about, what are the different types of promotion, and what are the factors which influence promotion. Let us first discuss what promotion is. So as we all know, promotion is the fourth component, is one of the major components, rather say one of the major components of marketing mix. So what are the other components of marketing mix? As we all know, product, price, place, promotion, all starting with the letter P, basic marketing mix. So promotion is one of that, one of the components. So it is the aspect of communicating the benefit of the product or the service to the end consumers, to the target customers, so that to persuade them, to inform them, so that ultimately they purchase the product. So it is the kind of communication, persuasion, which is directed at the consumers so that they purchase the products. That is promotion. Objective is to promote the product. Objective is to promote the product. So promotional techniques are used both by industrial marketers as well as consumer marketers. Industrial marketers, say suppose uh, Maruti Uddog Limited, they require paints. So Asian paints, Jensen and Nicholson, right, they will go. Bazaar paints, they will visit. They will convince the Maruti manufacturers that please use our products. Say different tire manufacturers, say Apollo, right? Different tire manufacturers, any brand, that they will visit the Maruti Widog Limited and will, ask, will request that please use our tires in the end products of your company. So that is also one aspect of promotion. And then suppose the different advertisements which are given across the mass media, those are also promotion that is targeted at the mass customers. So it is applicable in case of industrial marketing. It is applicable in case of consumer marketing. Consumer marketing is directly related with consumers. Industrial marketing is related with institutions, industries. So different marketers use different advertising media. Some might use television, some might use radio, some might use cinema, some might use newspaper, some might use magazine, some might use uh, say personal selling posts, some might use holdings. So different marketers might use different media. So for expensive complex production systems, suppose you are right, you are the you are working in a software company and you are having a software package for the bankers. So in that case, right, that, that is a complex product. So uh, that could be an expensive product also. So those kind of things, right, it may be team buying, team selling. A team of buyers will be there. So bank, not only the manager, the manager will be assisted by some other persons. The ship general manager would be assisted by the deputy general managers, the general managers. So they will have a team, process team. Likewise, from the software side also, they will be having the software, the software specialist, the finance specialist, like that. So that will be the team buying and team selling because it's a complex product, it's an expensive product. So it requires close coordination. Promotion mix. You know, marketing is all about mixes. 
product price space promotion is a mix. It's a mix of what? It's a set of controllable variables. Promotion itself is a mix. Promotion comprises the number of it's a subset of marketing mix. Marketing mix is the bigger set. Within marketing mix, product price space promotion. Which promotion? There is a mix element. These are all controllable variables. So the, in your SLM, you will find there are three mix elements. One is advertising, second one is sales promotion, third one is personal selling, fourth one is publicity. This personal selling is separately discussed, discussed in one other unit. So we shall have a discussion on that particular personal selling in some the, that particular unit. But advertising, publicity and sales promotion. This we are going to discuss in this particular video. Uh, in the subsequent part of the video. But in this particular thing, we are also going to discuss the factors affecting promotional mix and strategies. So, what are the factors which affect promotional mix and strategies? Nature of the product. It is complex, differentiated, frequently purchased. So, for complex products, just now I have given you the example of the software, which is specifically developed for the bankers. So, this is the complex product. So it requires personal setting, close coordination between the buyer's team and the seller's team. The product is differentiated. Suppose a Godrej Easy Detergent for woolen clothes. So the consumers will have to know that this is for woolen clothes only, not for any other clothes. So that is a differentiated product. So that particular communication will have to be given to the consumers through advertisement. And it's a frequently purchased product. It could be called get to paste. So it's a day-to-day -day reminder because it is a frequently used product. Every morning we use it. So the marketers will always give day-to-day -day reminder. So the nature of reminders. So like the software advertisement, Colgate advertisement will not be the same. So the nature of the product is important. As an important factor which determines the types of promotion. It could be the nature of the market. If it is consumer market, the nature of promotion will be different. If it is industrial market, the natural promotion will be different. Stays in the product life cycle. You know the four phases of product life cycle, introduction, growth, maturity, decline. So depending upon the stage of the product life cycle, it also varies. If it is introduction stage, the market the will have to be introduced the new product. So more shall more information. Maturity stage, market already knows about the product. So it's a reminder. Growth stage is maybe both more of information and more of reminder. You come, purchase, use the product. So depending upon the stage of the product life cycle, in case of decline stage, suppose we may be required to give some sales promotion, buy one, get one free, to clear off the inventories. Market penetration, if we are going to have say wider market coverage, means what? We'll have to go for wider promotion. So depending upon that, there are some other factors also. Market size and location. If the market size is very huge, large, in that case we shall have to go for wider advertisement. If the market is concentrated, located, say the, it's a highly right, applicable only in Assam, so in that case we will have to make use of Assamese language, Assamese medium. So location of the market will also determine the promotion to be chosen. Characteristics of buyers, if the buyers are educated, well informed, in that case, we will have to give them, right, not the basic information, we will have to give them the clear information, the more subtle information, right, the information which they can make use of. And the characteristics of buyers, if they are rural buyers, the rural buyers may not be that educated buyers. So in that case, we may be required to put the, give the basics information about our products. So depending upon the characteristics of the buyers, we may be required to devise our promotion strategy. And then the distribution strategy. Suppose our products are exclusively distributed. So in that case, we shall have to inform the market that our products are not available in all the outlets. This is available only in exclusive outlets. Or these exclusive products are available in exclusive outlets only. Others are available in some other things. So means what? Depending upon the distribution, whether it is selective distribution, intensive distribution, patchy distribution, accordingly our promotion also will be dependent. And last one is pricing strategy. If it is hyper pricing, it's a premium pricing, then a premium image will have to be maintained. So premium image needs to be maintained with quality advertisement. 
if we are going for a study and say right a cheap kind of advertisement right in that case the premium ms it will not suffice it will not substantiate so depending upon the pricing of the product depending upon the characteristics of the buyers right all these factors influence the promotional mix so we have discussed basically that what are the promotional the defining promotion the types of promotion and which are the factors which affect promotional decisions promotion is basically to promote the products promotion can be done through advertisement sales promotion personal selling like that and it can be affected by a number of factors which we have outlined thank you the remaining part we shall discuss in the other two videos thank you